What is happening people? Welcome to the channel. So, we all have that little voice inside of our head that says, I wonder what life would be like as a celebrity. The riches, the fame, the lifestyle, it all sounds pretty appealing to me and as a wise person who I am far too lazy to search the name of once said, fake it until you make it and that is exactly what I am going to do. In this video I'm going to let celebrities decide my day so that I can understand exactly what life will be like for me when my YouTube career takes flight, cascading me into a life of riches, fame and a boatload of class A drugs. So, I'm going to let celebrities decide my morning routine, the meals that I eat for the day, breakfast, lunch and dinner, and also a nighttime routine as well. So if that sounds interesting, let's get into it. So you may be wondering, how is this actually all going to work? Because Thomas, mate, you are a loser, you don't have access to any of these celebrities' phone numbers to simply call them up and ask them how they live their days so that you can copy it. And yes, you'd be right in thinking that. So I'm going to be using a random celebrity generator to generate a celebrity at random, funnily enough, and then using the power of Google, search their morning routines, search their favourite meals, and then search their nighttime routines, and film it. And that will be entertainment. Before we get into it, I just want to say that if I get the same celebrity twice, I'll have to regenerate it until I get a new one, just to keep it interesting. So, let's get into it. Celebrity number one and the morning routine. Random. Celebrity Generator Okay, so Change the quantity from 8 to 1 Boom! Okay, so we just got Mark Wahlberg for celebrity number 1 Now <laughs> That could not have been any worse, actually I'm pretty sure that Mark Wahlberg wakes up at half two every morning which is not good so yeah wakes up at half past two prayer at quarter to three breakfast at quarter past three every single morning it's now quarter past ten I suppose I should get to bed <laughs> oh god Okay, so it's now three o'clock in the morning. And I've just finished praying, which is something that I've not done for about 15 years, probably. It was fairly nice to begin with until I'm pretty sure that I fell asleep. So I'll see you for breakfast, I guess. Okay, so seeing as I got Mark Wahlberg for my morning routine, I feel like it's only fair that we stick to Mark Wahlberg's daily routine up until the afternoon time. <laughs> which is absolutely bonkers because there is so much packed into this. I also think that I should have his favourite choice of breakfast, seeing as he's first on the list. It says here that his first meal of the day is oats with blueberries and peanut butter. So that's what I'm going to make. <sighs> Okay, so breakfast is served and I'd be lying if I said that I was remotely excited for this. I'm still very much full from last night's dinner so this will be a struggle. Breakfast is done. As you can see, oh, I feel like I'm going to explode, bloody hell. Still got to go to the gym and get a workout in, um, which is absolutely bonkers because it's the middle of the night. But who am I to question old Marky Mark? 
Right, so it's now half past three, we are on our way to the gym. I feel like I'm a danger to the rest of society on this road, but the pros are that nobody's on the road anyway, so let's get going. Absolutely nuts to be coming in here at this time, but got to do it for Marky Mark. Okay, so I've driven all the way to the gym to find out that my 24 hour access gym is not actually open. Hashtag coronavirus, here we go. I'm gonna head back home and do a home workout instead because we run this great. It is 10 past four in the morning. We couldn't get into the gym, so we're back home and what would have been a sick montage at the gym will now have to be at home. Let's begin. Workout is complete, it is now just going on quarter past five. Surprisingly, I don't feel too tired anymore. <laughs> All the endorphins are pumping through my veins from that workout. A bit gutted that I couldn't get into the gym today, but I got a home workout done. Didn't think I'd be doing that anytime soon. Alas, here we are, gotta do what you gotta do. So at 5.30am is when Mark Wahlberg has his post-workout meal. And I'm gonna let another celebrity decide what it is that I'm gonna eat. Click on that. And change that to one. Snooky. Okay. So this could be interesting. So it says there she's her favourite snacks are rice cakes with almond butter and hummus with carrots. Um post workout meal. It's now if you can see half past five in the morning and we have rice cakes with almond butter. I couldn't get um, carrots and hummus because I don't have anything in the house and no shops are open. I'm still stuffed from the porridge this morning, so I imagine this will just add to the lead balloon in my stomach. But, gotta get after it, so bon app de queef. Mm. Rice cakes are stale as well. Mm. Last bite. That was absolutely brutal. Those rice cakes were 100% out of date and stale. So it was like eating shoe leather with butter on top. Absolutely grim. My protein for the day is sitting at 30 grams. I suppose the added bonus is that it's actually it's still 20 to 6 in the morning. So I mean, there's plenty more meals in the day to have. Um, I can't believe how early it is. It's mad. Next up on the list, Mark Wahlberg goes for a shower at six. So I will see you post shower. So we're back. It's now 10 past seven, if you can see there. Um, I've just spent the last hour and 10 minutes getting a few things done and I've been thinking about the pros and cons of being up so early in the morning. So I thought I'd just share them with you. First one is it is so peaceful because obviously everybody else on the planet is sleeping. It felt almost rude to be disrupting it. Second one, 
you get a real sense of achievement when you're getting things done while everybody else is asleep. Next benefit is that you get a whole lot of me time, um, which is something I can imagine being really beneficial, especially for folk who have like a, a family, they don't have a lot of free time during the day to do the things like work out and that kind of thing, so there's a real benefit there. All you need to do is just get up hours and hours before everybody else and hey, you've got enough time to do whatever the hell you want. And the last benefit is that you get to see the sunrise. Or if you're in Scotland, you get to see the clouds illuminate up grey as they always are and the rain pouring from the heavens. And there's also a few downsides, as I'm sure you can imagine, to getting up at half past two in the morning. Getting out of bed at half past two is a real struggle. I can imagine that that's even more difficult when it's really cold outside and you just wake up and your bed's like the coziest, comfiest place that you want to be. Another downside is that nowhere is actually open. You can't go shopping, you can't do all of the things that you would normally do throughout the day, which is kind of disappointing. And the last and final downside is that you need to go to bed early. And if you're doing Mark Wahlberg's routine, you'll be going to bed at half past seven at night, which is far from ideal. The last thing you want to be doing is having your dinner and then going straight to bed, like full stomach, knowing that you're going to sleep. Hey, it works for some people. Okay, so it's just going on half past seven. This is normally when Mark Wahlberg will play his daily golf. Um, I don't play golf. I don't have any of the equipment. I've got no interest in playing it. So I've decided that I'm going to do some editing instead. Um, and I'll catch up with you afterwards for the next celebrity and snack. I am feeling it, man. I am knackered. Absolutely burst. I guess uh, four hours sleep is not optimal. The things we do for entertainment, eh? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Quarter past eight, we are 15 minutes behind schedule. Um, and that's just purely down to the fact that I drank that coffee and it came out quicker than it went in. Now we're going to figure out what we are going to be having for our morning snack. Celebrity generator. Barbara Streisand. Interesting. Barbara. <laughs> Favourite food. Oh, pfft. Oh, God. So, Barbara Streisand's favourite food is a chicken pot pie. <laughs> Snack is acquired. I couldn't find any chicken pot pies anywhere, so I decided what's the next best thing. Obviously, a chicken bake from Greg's. So, that's what I've got. I am somewhat excited for this. Finally get some protein in today, which is good, so... Let's begin. Mm. Cold on the outside and liquid hot in the middle. Typical Greg's. That is the snack done. That was pretty good. Thanks, Barbara. Appreciate that one. Next up, cryo chamber recovery. Uh, obviously, I don't have access to a cryo chamber or have one on hand because I'm not a millionaire. So instead, I'm going to do some more editing. And yeah, I'll catch up with you for the next celebrity and next snack. Check in time, it is 10.28am, which means it is time for yet another snack on the Mark Wahlberg morning routine. I'm praying for something hopefully low calorie with protein in it, but we'll, we'll find out. So I'm going to jump onto the generator on my phone. Change that to one. Angelina Jolie. Okay, I like it. I'd raid her too, if you know what I mean. Oh. Okay, so we've got Angelina Jolie's favourite food here is McDonald's. <laughs> hey, hey, okay. All right, Angelina. All right. The double sausage and egg McMuffin. Oh, that's a girthy boy. Really salty as well. That is that. Now it is eleven o'clock, so it's family time. 
go and spend some time with Michael, as you do. Yo, Michael, you want it? Oh. Okay. I'll go spend time with Mum then. Hey, Mum, you want to hang out for... Oh. Hey, Johnny, you want to hang out? Oh. Not either. Looks like I'm all alone. Oh, there is one person I can spend time with today, I guess. Okay, so we are back. Time is now just after one o'clock here, and that means it's time for lunch. So, who are we going to get? Harry Styles. Okay. Watermelon sugar, perhaps? <laughs> Sweet corn and tacos. Okay. So because he's got two options for his favourite food, what I'll do is I'll put that into a, um, a random number generator and then we'll work out what one I'm allowed. So sweet corn is going to be number one and tacos will be number two. Jesus. Two, it's tacos baby. Went to Taco Bell, treated herself because if you're going to buy tacos, where else are you going to get them? Let's be honest. Three, two, one. Ooh. Well, it has been many moons since I've last had a Taco Bell, but that was pretty damn good. Now I'm going to go upstairs and lie down and try not to think about how many calories I've just eaten. So a lot of time has passed since we last saw each other. I opted not to have any dinner just because I feel like I have eaten plenty today. And honestly, I don't feel hungry anymore, I just feel knackered. So now we're going to go into the last random celebrity generator to find out our nighttime routine. What a day it has been. I am absolutely fucked. Before we do that though, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, eh? Cheers. Just going to run the generator. Just change to one. Mel Gibson. <laughs> 